All right, for our tip of the week this week, uh, let's go over and look at importing objects into ARCHICAD. So while ARCHICAD comes in with a large and ever-growing collection of out-of-the-box objects, and all of these objects uh, are customizable to the point where they're going to get us what we need. But that can't always be the case, right? There's going to be something that's a lot more specific to your needs. So that's when we need to start looking outside of ARCHICAD to see if something is already built and saves us the time of having to build that custom object. So Graphisoft has quite a few um, linked, not linked, that's a bad word, um, libraries that are compatible. So outside libraries that are compatible with ARCHICAD. Uh, the first one being it's a Graphisoft um, external library here. It's called BIM Components. And this has a large variety of different objects that have been built for ARCHICAD that we can download and put into our embedded library. So we would get to that by bimcomponents.com. The next one being the 3D Warehouse. This is a SketchUp format library. Um, it has objects that have been built by SketchUp users. And all of these are all SketchUp objects are compatible with ARCHICAD. We bring it in as a SKP file um, and merge that into our embedded library. And all of these objects are available to us as well. Again, that's the 3D warehouse um, and it is a SketchUp formatted library. We have modular.com. Um, it offers, probably the, the main reason people would go to this one is for um, manufacturer specific objects. So if you're looking for a specific Delta um, water faucet or um, a certain manufacturer's refrigerator, all of those things, a lot of the manufacturers are bringing their um, CAD objects into the modular.com uh, website there. We also have bimobjects.com. This has a variety of different manufactured objects. Uh, they have the ARCHICAD, the Revit, and the SketchUp files all kind of loaded into one. Again, this has a large, large variety of manufactured objects. So we can filter those from things like um, by brand, by the category, the file type, so on and so forth, specific materials. So these are going to have another large variety of our manufactured objects. Okay, another great way um, to bring, the, or once we have those objects, regardless of where we get these objects from, all of those sites offer good, clean um, objects. But the problem with bringing outside objects into ARCHICAD is it comes in with a lot of junk. And what I mean by junk is um, we might dirty up our layers by adding layers that these objects were built on um, that aren't native to ARCHICAD. So we'll end up with a lot of trash layers. Uh, we'll bring in surfaces um, that are going to dirty up our surfaces. Uh, and so we want to be able to bring in polygons, right? Um, especially a lot of these SketchUp files create a lot more polygon with their objects than what ARCHICAD does. And as you know, the more polygons we add to ARCHICAD, the slower our ARCHICAD file is going to work. So we want to limit the number of polygons that are coming in. And we can make these look better. We can make them look cleaner, especially in our 3D mode. And so a great tool for that is going to be uh, Modelport. Uh, Modelport gives us... Um, great editing capabilities to imported objects that we're bringing in. And so we can use that for any of the objects from the libraries that we have talked about before. So the reason we would use Modelport is because we have more import formats available to us. By default, ARCHICAD has a limited number of um, import formats that we can use. Well, Modelport gives us 14 different formats 
um, nine of those are not available as an ARCHICAD default. And we can edit all of these through the model port tool. The model port tool is an add-on. Um, it's a paid add-on into ARCHICAD brought to us by the folks over at ArchVista. Um, and they have done great work to allow us to bring a lot of these more customized objects into ARCHICAD and make them more usable. We're going to save time by reviewing the objects before they're even brought into ARCHICAD, right? A lot of times after we download these objects from the libraries, we have to bring them into ARCHICAD before we see what they're going to look like in an ARCHICAD model, how they're going to look once they're translated from SketchUp into ARCHICAD. Um, and by the time we do that, we're bringing all the junk that's connected to them into ARCHICAD. And that just makes our file less organized, look bigger, um, brings in a lot of trash in. So with ModelPort, we can bring that in, see what it's going to look like as an ARCHICAD object before we bring in all of its junk. Okay. It brings it in quick. It allows us to compare the default ARCHICAD import, and it gives us an interactive review in the preview window. It reduces the number of cleanups that we'll have to do in our embedded library, and it avoids clutter for us um, in our project as a whole. So as we're looking at this, we can rotate it around. We can see and isolate specific parts of the object in order to clean that up and make that look presentable for us. We can edit the materials, pen weights, um, and background fills um, and of the different model elements before we even bring it into ARCHICAD. See, we can isolate specific materials and surfaces and change those before ever bringing it into ARCHICAD. And a big part of this too, as I had mentioned before, is our um, polygon reduction. Trees are a big polygon eater because all of these leaves have, have a lot of polygons attached to them. So a lot of times we have to compromise the level of detail of our trees in order to keep the rendering of them smooth. But if we bring those trees in with model port, we can reduce that polygon count by over 81% and still keep the same level of detail that we're going for. So quick review, importing objects into ARCHICAD, using the model port add-on, we can um, increase the amount of access of objects that we have by having a larger range of formats available to us. We can preview that object before bringing it into ARCHICAD, and we can control the file size and materials that we're bringing into ARCHICAD as well. Model Pro 2.0 um, update, sorry, 2.1 update includes a lot of new features. It manages the ARCHICAD objects um, created by Revit or SketchUp imports. It cleans up and manages morphs converted from imported objects. You can create objects from modeled elements such as walls, slabs, roof, beams, and etc. cetera. Uh, you can add textures to any of your imported surfaces. You can delete selected meshes in the model port editor. And you can reduce the polygon count and file size of ARCHICAD objects created from a Revit or SketchUp model.